we are interested in how sea turtles are using the Gulf Stream environment. And so we tagged five juvenile sea turtles that were collected from North Carolina beaches down south and were raised at the Pine Knoll Shores Aquarium until they were the size that we could attach a solar satellite tag to them and release them in the Gulf Stream amongst Sargassum. This is filling in one of the major data gaps in the sea turtle life history. These guys are incredibly long-lived and we don't know much about that early time frame that they spend offshore, so we don't know where they go, how they interact with their environment, and so not knowing that makes it more difficult to protect them. A lot of the technologies that were present until recently were too large to be able to tag smaller turtles. And so we're really interested in how those turtles are using the Gulf Stream and the North Carolina Renewable Ocean Energy Program is interested in it because if we are to harness Gulf Stream based energy, we need to do so um, responsibly and that means making sure that we protect species that could be at risk of interaction with those turbines, including juvenile sea turtles. It's important because sea turtles are protected under the Endangered Species Act, but they interact with a lot of fisheries. And when you have turtles interacting with human activities, what'll happen is those human activities may be restricted. So the more information that we have, the better targeted our uh, management can be. So we're not just blanket you know, protecting areas or habitat, we can home in on where they're actually going, where they're actually using the habitat, and perhaps release a you know, restriction elsewhere. Every time the turtle is at the sea surface, the tag will transmit to overhead satellites. The tags themselves, because they require recharging, they'll be transmitting for about 10 hours, and then they shut down for two days to recharge. But during that 10 hour active period, they're sending all sorts of signals to overhead satellites that then we'll just send them to somebody's email and computer. So these solar tags are temporary tags. We affix them to the back of the sea turtle with a um, suite of different adhesives, but they are meant to fall off eventually. Sea turtle shells grow as the sea turtle's soft tissues grow, so anything that would be permanently affixed could cause harm to the sea turtle. And so these tags will fall off over time, sometime between immediately after they're put on to 300 days from when they're put on. We're hoping for about 30 days. The public can track these sea turtles by going to seaturtle.org. We did have five tags that were transmitting at one time, and you can see the tracks of the tags that are still transmitting now. Projects like this are important because not only is it providing information for our program, for the North Carolina Renewable Ocean Energy Program, and maybe supporting the development of Gulf Stream-based energy, but it's also just providing us information about a organism that is really interesting to the general public and is also uh, protected. And so the more that we know about these animals, the more that we can make decisions to help protect them.